My beloveds, come and stand with your toes together, your heels together. You pull up on your thighs and your tummy's tight. Interlock your fingers right down to the webbing and all of your knuckles underneath your chin. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And let's begin. Inhale for one inhale. So as you inhale, float your elbows all the way up to the ceiling. Forearms frame your beautiful face. Now let your head go back. Your spine is straight. Your eyes, they're wide open. Your mouth is wide open. Relax the shoulders and please would you bring your elbows as you touch them together away from the chest. And again, you inhale your pranayama. Now you get the weight back in the heels. Look towards yourself as you keep inhaling a little bit more way at the top. And again, would you let it go? Open your eyes, open your mouth. Relax the shoulders, please bring your elbows and you squeeze them together really, really high and another inhale. When you inhale, remember the chin comes down, you're stretching the side of your body as you get your elbows up, as you inhale one more beautiful breath at the top, hey Tara, and again, would you let it go? When you let it go, eyes are open, mouth completely wide open, you know, as if you're at the dentist and the shoulders are down, relax them and squeeze your elbows together. And again, you inhale, your pranayama and so you pay attention you know those in the teacher training you pay attention to your prana you pay attention how would you how would you say it inhale one more breath wait at the top hold it and then again would you let it go this is your last one of your first set the shoulders are down and please would you bring your elbows together to squeeze at the end excellent let your arms float down by your side and you breathe okay guys second set again Toes together, heels together, pull up on your thighs, your tummy's tight. Interlock your fingers, knuckles underneath your chin. Relax your shoulders and let's begin. Inhale for one and two and three and four and five and six at the top. Exhale for six and five and four and three and bring your elbows together. Now again, inhale. When you inhale, chin comes down. You're floating your elbows up. You're stretching through the side of your body where your intercostal muscles are. Elbows poking the ceiling. One more breath. And again, you exhale. Now remember your spine is straight. Your eyes are really, really wide open and the shoulders away from your ears and you bring your elbows and you squeeze them together so high. And again, you inhale, chin down. And because, you know, the postures are so long, the class is 90 minutes, it's quite good to almost tell a story with what you're doing rather than just, you know, what they need to do with one more breath at the top. And again, you exhale. And as you exhale, mouth is wide open. Eyes are wide open. Knuckles gently pushing into the throat. Shoulders are down. Elbows, please squeeze them together away from the chest. And again, you inhale your pranayama. And when you inhale your pranayama, rock the weight all the way back in the heels. Remember, it's always about weight, guys. Inhale a little bit more, beautiful Leslie. And again, would you let it go and your spine is straight and your eyes are open and you look along the ceiling, relax the shoulders and please, would you bring your elbows together to squeeze? And again, you inhale your pranayama. And you know, guys, in this whole thing, there's only Tara and Wayne that are not actually doing the teacher training, but it gives you a very, very big insight to Tara and Wayne, where they are, if you feel me. One more breath at the top. And again, would you let it go? as your eyes are open. They are here as if they're in teacher training almost, guys. As you relax the shoulders and you bring your elbows and you squeeze them together really, really high. And again, you inhale your pranayama. And you know, Tara was in the old world as well. She practiced at La Cienega where I did my training. Maybe even Roberts and I didn't get there. One more breath. And again, you let it go. And as you let it go, you're exhaling. Push all the old stale air, anything you don't need, any only thoughts you don't need out of your body as you squeeze your elbows together. And again, inhale, fabulous throat and neck wing. It's a very big thing when you open your throat and your neck, you know, inhale a little bit more weight at the top. And then you let it go. Your eyes are open, looking on the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. Please, would you bring your elbows and you squeeze them together away from the chest. And again, chin down. Float your elbows up to the ceiling. Forearms frame your beautiful face. Now let your head go back. 
relax your shoulders, bring your wrists and your elbows and squeeze them together at the end and let your arms float down by your side and you breathe. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose with Pada Hastasana, hands to feet pose, please. Inhale your arms above your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index finger, glue your wrists together. Chin up, arms back, toes and heels together, weight in the heels, relax your shoulders away from your ears, my beautiful, suck your tummy in tight butt, reach up, touch the ceiling and stretch your bodies from side to side. Every time you come to the middle, you try to touch the ceiling for three, for two, for one, please come, stop in the middle. Okay, guys, get the weight back in the heels, stuck your tummy tight, bum, straight elbow, straight knees, reach up as high as you can. And now rainbow over <clears throat> in a perfectly straight line towards the right inside the room you breathe and your chin is up and your arms are back. I click the clock on guys and the clock is there. So I give you a minute posture, you don't have to. And if you're working with a new person, maybe you give them, you know, 20 second posture, Rather than the whole minute, you invite them into the series rather than just giving them everything at once and it will all seem quite overwhelming. Now your chin is up and your arms are back and you suck in your tummy and you tighten your bum and you straighten your elbows and you straighten your knees and your toes are still touching the ground. And now, very gently, lovely Shahida, and Ma, pull your, push your left hip over your left ankle when you push your left hip over your left ankle, lovely Jamelia, what happens is you begin to feel the stretch. It's gorgeous, Tara. And the opening down the whole of the left-hand side of your body as you begin to come down, lovely Amber for five, come down for four and three and two and done. And then you breathe up long. Okay, guys, reach up, touch the ceiling. And then again, you rainbow over in a perfectly straight line towards the left-hand side of your space and you breathe. Your chin is up, your camera's frozen, Amber, but you don't need to check it. As long as you're in posture, you're golden. Now mark, get the weight in the heels, pull your tummy muscles in, everybody tighten your bum. And now mark especially, I want you to think of your right hip and push your right hip over, oh, he's disappeared, oh, he disappeared, okay. Right hip over towards the right hand side of your space and you breathe and your chin is up it was amber that disappeared so your thing moved now mark think of the lower bum think of your bum and push your bum towards the bed a little bit push the bum towards the bed a little bit the other way that's it that's it that's it mark so there you go absolutely fabulous man that is perfect now everybody left armpit forward to get both your armpits in one line bring your right hip forward suck your tummy tighten your bum Drop your shoulders away from your ears. Get your chin up a little bit, my Wayne, as you glue your wrists together. And here we go, guys. Push your hips a little bit more to the right, Mark, as you come down for five. Come, yes, Mark, three, two, done. Beautiful, Mark. Reach up. And for Mark, it's the middle of the bloody night, guys, I've got to tell you, is in the Philippines. It's the early hours of the morning, of tomorrow morning, so he's in the future. Okay, guys, hips, tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up and... Drop your head back. Look back. Keep on lifting your chest up because the engine of the posture is how much you push your hips forward. That's where the weight is, hips forward. And then the lift, 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 lift your chest up, lift your spine up, and then just drop your head off the end as if you're dropping your head off a cliff. Just drop your head off the end and let the throat open. Glue your wrists together. Push your index fingers together. This is where you change the lot, Wayne. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Yes, Leslie. And now take your arms back to where your ears are. Go back. Yes, Barbie. Hips, tummy, thighs forward. Fabulous, Shida. Keep your legs straight, Shida. Especially the, the right one, the right, the left one straight. Just the right one, baby. Hips, tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up, Katty. Lift your chest up, chest up. Yes. Change. Inhale as you come up. Suck in your tummy. Come down the straight spine. If you've got any injuries going on with your back, bend your knees, put your hands on your thighs and ease your way down. You're doing good, Tara. Good for you, darling. And get your hands on the floor and wiggle your hips from side to side. The thing about it is, you know, the back, the, I think the reason that yoga has done so much is because of the amount of back injuries that human beings get, because we're upright. These keep back injuries completely under control and will heal most of them. Wiggle your hips from side to side. I'm saying most because I've not completely got the full healing from the spine yet. When it does, you know, I'll tell you. Okay. Bend your knees. Lay your belly on your thighs. Or straighten your knees if you can get your belly on it then. Now reach around and grab your heels from behind. 
and step on all of your fingers and your thumb, trying to get your fingers to face the same direction as your toes. Do more than try. Get your knees together. Sit down deeply. Wrap the elbows around the calf muscles. Now, lift your hips up into the air. Exhale and push the knees back into the space. Exhale makes everything in your body relax. So inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale and push the knees back into the space. Get the weight in the toes again. Yes, Wayne. Lift your hips up into the air. Lovely, Jamelia. Get the elbows around the calf muscles a little bit more. Lift your hips up into the air. Get the weight in the toes. Push the knees back. One more breath. Inhale as you come up. Stunning, Christine. And let your arms float down. Take a breath. Let go. And you breathe. And you breathe. Okay, my beloveds. When you're ready, second set. Inhale your arms above your head. Interlock your fingers, release your index, glue your wrists together, straight elbows, straight knees, reach up as high as you can, and then okay. rainbow over in a perfectly straight line. Now, I use the words rainbow over. You do not have to. But what you do have to use the words of is the perfectly straight line. Because that means there's no back bending, your shoulders aren't back and your hips push forward, which a lot of, you know, practices, sometimes you see that very, very tortured position. It's not that at all. You get your chin up and your arms back and pull your tummy muscles in. Now for you, Mark, tighten your bum a lot so you feel that left hip and push your left hip away from the bed. Push your left hip away from the bed. I'm sorry you're having trouble, Amber. Push your, is it at your mums. Push your left hip away from the bed. A little bit more, a little bit more, Mark. The upper body's going, Mark. It's just the lower body's got to move. Your upper body's perfect. Just move the lower body a little bit. And now, Ma, bring your left hip towards me, baby. Left hip towards me. Yes, Ma. Right armpit forward, glue your wrist together. Now, just hold your breath. Lovely, Aileen. Everybody find your neck. Gorgeous, Tara. Change. Inhale as you come up. I'm sorry, Amber, that was to the right. Now, inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling, and over you go in a perfectly straight line towards the left. And you're beginning to open the right-hand side of your body. You're opening your spine. You know, I've told you many times, you've heard of the expression, I don't know if you've heard it in other countries, you know, like Brazil, maybe it's not the same, but in England, they have an expression, grumpy old men. It's a known expression. And the reason it's known is because there's a lot of grumpy old men. And why? Because the spine's deteriorated. And when you work your spine like this, it's working on your mood. It's softening your mood. Because what you present to the world is your mood. And your mood is dictated to by thoughts that come from the outside, unless you are watching yourself. Left arm, pick forward. Fabulous, Shahida. Lovely shape, baby. Left it forward. Right it forward a little bit. Yes, Mark. Now, Mark, you just told that, my sweetheart. That is absolutely beautiful. Straighten your elbows. Everybody wait. Shoulders around away from your neck. So I'll get to see your neck a little bit more. Change. Excellent, Mark. Okay. Hips and tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up, and please would you drop your head back. Open your throat, open your throat. Hips and tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up, and now float back. Feel the lift in your chest. You know these back bends make you very different. Why do they make you different? How many people do you know in ordinary life that do a back bend like this virtually, you know, however times a week you do the class? Hips and tummy, thighs forward, lift your chest up and float your arms back, and remember open your arms pit. Now, those of you in teacher training, you saw where my arms were behind my ears. So get your arms back a little bit more, stretch your neck, stretch your armpits. There you go, Amber. Lift your chest up. And now that's squeezing the back where you know the, the um, dowager's hump is at the back of the neck. It's squeezing that so you don't get one. Lift your chest up. Glue your wrists together. And now look back, go back, trust it, go back, way back. Trust it, yeah, Aileen, Aileen, go back, more back, one more breath. Inhale as you come up. Beautiful, Aileen. Beautiful, my beautiful, um, my Jamelia, sucking your tummy. Bend your knees, come down the straight back. And get your hands on the floor. I'm still doing the same, Tara, and I don't care because I'm still in class. And get your hands on the floor, relax. And now understand right now the blood is gushing into your brain, expanding all the little capillaries of the blood vessels in your brain. And all this blood that's filling your brain is oxygenated. It's full of life force. Bend your knees, reach around, grab your heels from behind. Step on all your fingers and your thumb. Get the weight into the toes. Lift your hips up into the air, let your head hang heavy. 
You want the blood to go in there. You don't want any little cricks in the neck. You want the blood to go in there. So get your chin in slightly to get the back of your neck long and get your forehead and the shins below the knees if that's available to you. And then one day, your tummy's on your thighs, your chest on the knees and, and the forehead's on the shins below the knees. Pull on the heels with all your might. Lift your hips up. Get the weight in the toe, Shahida. So you like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Same for you, um, Amber. Lift your hips up. Same for you, Leslie. Get the weight to toes. There you go, baby. One more breath and change. And over the years, Leslie, you know, that injury that you have is just going to get better and better and better over the years because now you access it. Now you know the tool to access it. Our postures are tools, you know, for your body. Look down at your feet, take a six and step to the right. Hide your heels behind your toes. Remember, this is a measurement. Inhale your arms up to center and drop your shoulders down away from your ears. Suck in your tummy. Inhale, breathe in. Sit on a chair. Stick your bum out. Lift your upper body up. Just because you're sitting down, it doesn't mean your spine's got to lean forward. Posture's gorgeous, Lily. You stick your butt out, the shoulders away from your ears, stick your butt out a little bit more, Shaida. Get the weight back. Now move your knees back, Shaida. Move your knees back, move your knees back as you sit back a little bit deeper. Yes, my darling. One more breath, change. Stunning Amber. Rock right up onto your toes as high as you can. Straighten out your legs a lot to start with beautiful feet, Katya. Inhale, breathing, and crack your knees a little bit. As you lift up the right heel, left heel, both heels, both heels, right heel, left heel. Don't let the knees bow open, Mark. You're doing a terrific job. Beautiful, Mark. Right heel, left heel, both heels, both heels. Lift up the heel. Right heel, left heel. This is fantastic, Shahida. And now you've got the feet in an excellent position. Doesn't it feel amazing with Amber? And doesn't it feel amazing with Jamelia? Right heel, left heel, both heels, both heels, and you're done. You're up on those Betty Boot feet. Excuse the blokes. You don't have Betty Boot feet. Squeeze your knees together, lift your heels a tad, suck your tummy and slide down your cool marble wall. But you know men originally wore high heels. Yeah, us girls love those high heels and stole them. Yes, look at you, Aileen. Do you see how quickly, Aileen, your body has come into it now? Do you see how much control? You've got it now, baby. You drop shoulders away from the ears, your eyes are open, the breath is normal, pulling your tummy muscles, squeeze your knees together. It's the most important part of this posture. Inhale, breathing, and now push the floor away. Use your hands if you want to, no problem. Yes, Aileen, squeeze your knees, squeeze your knees, squeeze your knees. Once you squeeze your knees, you've got the strength of both legs, like two ropes. Second set, look down your feet. Take a six and step to the right. Hide your heels behind your toes, inhale your arms up to center and drop your shoulders away from your ears and suck in your tummy, inhale, breathing, and sit on a chair. And as you sit in a chair, you're trying to make your body the shape of a chair. And then you lift your body up, stick your bum out, getting that gorgeous curve in your lower spine, which is a very, very beautiful curve. You know, when um, all of nature, drop your shoulders away from your ears, all of nature is only about reproduction. That's all that nature's interested in. She's not interested in anything else. It's not her deal. It's just reproducing herself again and again and again. Sit down one more breath and change. Inhale as you come up. Rock right up onto your toes as high as you can. So human beings are governed by what they see with their eyes as to who is fertile. Now inhale, breathe it, and crack your knees just a little bit. And certain things like the curve in the lower spine, where the shoulders are on a person, lift up the right heel, lift up the left heel. Does that person have a waist? Because if a person has a waist, the shoulders are back, little curve in the lower spine, that means they are fertile and people start to chase their butts. Right heel forward, left heel forward. And with the blokes with the shoulders down, the chest lifting up, right heel forward, left heel forward. Because when we see that beautiful blueprint, it's a little turn on for every human being on the planet. Change. Breathe. Bring your knees together to touch. Give you a tad, suck your tummy, slide on your cool marble wall. So as you walk down the street, you're giving information to whoever's looking at you. They're giving them, you're giving information about your age, your fitness. You're giving them information about what you eat. As you drop your shoulders away from your ears, you squeeze your knees together. And you're giving information if you're fit at all. Eyes are open, the breath is normal. Squeeze your knees. Now, those of you who know your knees and you want to bounce, do it. One, two, three, stop that bounce. Excellent, Leslie. Inhale, breathing, and push the floor away. And that means that strength is building there. And feet together, arms down. Take a breath, let go. Breathe. Let's do Garuda. Inhale your arms up over your head. Notice which is your right, which is the left. Swing your right arm completely underneath your left arm. 
please cross your forearms some towards your face, pull your elbows down. And would you sit down very deeply? When you do, butt is out. Remember that curve in your lower back. Pick up your right leg and wrap it and coil it and bend it and squeeze it around the left one. Now, the other thing about younger people is they've got balance much more than older people. The biggest reason old people die is because they fell over. A massive bone broke and it couldn't get fixed. Lift your body up. Move your knees towards the right. Bring the left leg forward a little bit more to me, Ma. Left leg forward, one more breath. You beautiful. And Mark, change. Arms over your head and swing your left arm underneath your right and cross your forearms. Thumbs towards your face, pull your elbows down. Interlock your fingers, fingers below your nose. You know you worked into your neck. Sit down. Pick up the left leg and wrap and coil and bend and squeeze it. So you see the postures, what they do, they access. It's like the postures are an iron. And everywhere they move, they are ironing out wrinkles and little, you know, misalignments that are coming up through the natural aging process. Move your knees to the right, left a little bit, a mark. Move them to the left, use your waist. Use that pretty waist you've got, Mark. Just bring the knees to the left. One more breath, yes, Wayne. Change. Good for you, Mark. Arms over your head. Swing the right underneath your left. Cross your forearms, thumb towards your face, pull your elbows downward. Now would you sit down, butt is out, chest is up. And can you pick, excuse me, pick up your right leg and wrap and coil and squeeze your groin, squeeze your armpits, pull the elbows down. Feel where the strain is in the most. It should be in your left, it's not should be, it is. In your left shoulder, your left neck. One day when you've released the fascia, in this yoke of your neck, then you'll feel both necks, both shoulders equal. Sit down, one more breath, change. This is a lovely side for you, Mark. Arms up your head, beautiful posture today, Leslie. Swing the right underneath, left underneath your right, cross your forearms, some towards your face, pull the elbows down, sit down deep, butt out, chest up, and pick up your left leg and wrap and coil and bend and squeeze it around the left. And you're fearless, Leslie. You don't sit even within looking distance of your notes. You're fearless, baby. You pick up the left leg and wrap and coil and bend and squeeze it around the right one. And then you begin to lift your upper body up, pull the elbows down. You know, the kids at school and most of the lessons today are just about memory, but children are not taught how to memorize. Imagine that, you know, lift your body up a little bit more way in its beautiful posture and change. Excellent. Arms over your head. Let them float down by your side. And hey, guys, have a drink of your water. I mean, the, the fact that all school learning is memorizing you, you'd think there'd be a class of how to memorize in school. If they're on our side, let's say that. Okay, when you're ready. A shirtless Wayne looks fantastic, Wayne. I'm so proud of you. Straighten out your left leg. Yeah, man. Suck in your tummy, round over and pick up your right foot. And interlock your fingers and your thumb below the toes. Now, my one of the corrections, obviously, is they can hold below the knee. No problem at all. And you always let somebody drop the knee, drop the foot as many times as they want to, to find the balance. Everybody straightening the leg. Because this is about not only finding the balance, but we are throwing your balance off. We're completely throwing it off because you've got no arms to help and the other leg is in the air. Straighten your knee. So if you're carrying a tray and you're walking up a step and you trip, you're going to find your bloody balance as you straighten the leg you're standing on. Now, if you're ready, inhale, exhale, and kick your right toe forward. Your left leg is completely beautiful, Shahida. It's lock, solid, concrete, one piece. And so is your right leg when there's no weight on it, when there's no weight on it. Now, as you kick the forward, very, very beautiful, Lily, tuck your toes back hard towards your face with my Leslie. And then begin to bend your elbows down with Katia and Christine. And remember, as long as you are on one leg, you are in the game. Perfect way. Three, two, down. Take a breath, let go and breathe. And you know how, how proud it makes Seppi to be with you on the beach, my darling. Women don't say it about their men, but they rent to walk when the man's looking hot. Straighten out your left leg, suck in your tummy round over and pick up your right foot. In English, it's one of our sayings, like you put your best dress on, oh, she rented a walk, because the way you're walking, you know, rocking your walk. Pick up your foot, your swag. 
straighten the knee. And that's what you've worked on, Wayne. It's your swag. As you straighten the knee, as you straighten the knee, contract your thigh muscle. Now, if you want to, you want some more. Inhale, gorgeous, Shahida, gorgeous knee, Shahida. Perfect, boo. Put your toes back hard towards your face. Stretch the Achilles tendon. If you're ready, you want some more. Keep kicking through the heel. It's stunning, Amber. Get your elbows down to break the plane, the calf muscle. And when you get the elbows below the plane, the calf muscle, then you can cast your eyes to the ground. Remember, wherever you, if you're on one leg, you are in the game. Five, four, three, two, done. Take a breath. And your leg and line up, um, Aileen, is fantastic. The way your knees, your ankles, your feet are beautiful. It's the blueprint. And the blueprint's gorgeous. The blueprint is your most gorgeous look. Straighten out your right leg. Suck in your tummy. Round over. Pick up your left foot, your knee, but always pull your tummy muscles in. Because when you pull your tummy muscles in, it's supporting you in the lower back. That's it, Tara. Helping your hands are going to help hold the weight of your leg for your back. Spread the whole the weight of the whole of the standing foot. It's very, very good, Aileen. Big toe into the floor because you are the queen of muscles. You know, beautiful Barbie. Now, if you're ready and your right leg is really, left leg is straight, inhale, beautiful Shahida. Kick the right heel forward. And remember, it's just a practice. We're not asking for perfection. And as you kick your forward, pull your toes back hard towards your face. Keep kicking through that right hip forward. Stretch through your right leg. Pull your toes back. Now begin to bend your elbows down to break the plane of the calf muscle, stunning Katia. Now Katia, stay there for some seconds, just looking at the floor. No problem, babe, you did great. When you find your balance on the floor, look at it for a few seconds. You don't have to go for a knee right away. And then when you're ready, chin to your throat, for a knee. That's it, Lily, five, Lily, four, Lily, three, two, done. Excellent, Lily. Take a breath, let go and breathe. Once you find your balance, it steadies your body. When your eyes are fixed, your body's fixed. Straighten out your right leg, sucking your tummy round over, pick up your left foot. Because it's all engaged, your eyesight, everything is part of the posture. Interlocking your fingers and your thumb below the toes, you straighten the knee, you straighten the knee, you straighten the knee. Spread the whole the weight or the whole standing foot, big toe into the floor. If you're ready and your right leg is locked, solid concrete, one piece, you have locked your knee, you have no knee. Inhale, exhale, and kick the heel forward. Beautiful leg, Ma, beautiful leg. The leg is perfectly straight, like I just said, that um, Aileen's was, and it's gorgeous, Tara. And as you kick the heel forward, two legs like an upside down L from the side. Make sure your right leg, left leg is straight now. Pull your toes back, and now bend your elbows. Look forward, Wayne, but Wayne, it's beautiful. Bend your elbows, looking forward at a point, looking forward at a point. Yes, Shahida, yes, Leslie, now very gently, just cast your eyes to the ground, very, very gently. Then when you do, hold that posture. Yes, Ma, hold it, baby. Now, chin is your foot, knee. Five, four, three, two, boom, Ma. Yes, terrific. You and, and um, a running high five for you and Lily on that one. Okay, babe, that was gorgeous. Take a breath. Okay, standing bow pulling. Do you, if you need water, get water. Toes and heels together to touch. Please bend your right elbow in at the waist. Palm is facing up. Let your hand go down and please pick up on the inside of your right foot and touch your knees together. Inhale with energy, your left arm up. And remember those of you in training where you see where the arm is going right back so you can see it so your ear is visible, get it back there, it's going to help you. Then your body's already in the bow. Inhale, breathe in and kick the leg back. When your arm is behind your ear, your body is already lifted up in the bow and all you're doing now is getting the leg up to meet it. But obviously if you're going to bring, if the arm comes down and then the ratio starts to go, yes, Amber, Keep on kicking, keep on kicking and lift your armpit up even more, Amber. Lift the armpit up even more. Lift the arm up even more. Gorgeous, babe. And kick the leg back behind you. Stunning everybody. Gorgeous, Christine. The energy, the power there is beautiful with Lily. Now, drop the left shoulder towards your chin. Touch your chin to the shoulder. And you kick up the leg a little bit more for five. You keep on kicking. Good for you, Tara. For three, two, done. Exceptional, Amber. It's like you're levitating, baby. It just means you don't know where the weight is. They look kind of weightless after a while. Did a great job. 
Left elbow in at the waist, palm facing up. Please let your hand go down and pick up the foot from the inside and bring your knees together to touch. Inhale with energy, your right arm up. Inhale breathing and begin to kick the leg directly back behind you. Now, as you do, Mark, keep the arm up. Remember that arm right by your head. So you're opening the front part of your body. So your front part of your body goes into the bow. That's it, Mark. And then you're kicking hard with the leg. And when you're kicking hard with the leg, you lose your left shoulder. You allow the left shoulder to be kicked straight back. And that left shoulder kicked straight back. Guess where it's going into the neck when you did Garuda. Now, so the left neck is being stretched, stretched, stretched back with the shoulder. And you're kicking it back a little bit more. And gorgeous, Leslie. And your face looks stunning, Leslie. As you kick the leg back a little bit more, now begin to bring that left right shoulder towards your chin. Yes, Katia. Touch it in the shoulder. Gorgeous, Wayne. Gorgeous, Amber. Gorgeous, Shahida. Kick up the leg a little bit more with Barbie. Five. Kick it up with uh, Christine. Four. Three, two, done. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take a breath, let go and breathe. Left elbow into the waist, palm facing up. Let your hand go down, right elbow, excuse me. Pick up the foot from the inside, bring your knees together to touch. You see why you're doing the posture, told me it was right or left. Inhale with energy, your left arm up. Now, knees back a little bit, Aileen, so they're in one line to the side, inhale breathing, and kick the leg directly back. So your knees touch, Aileen, that's the feeling of the being in one line. It means they're touching each other at the same place. Inhale, breathing, kick the leg back and up, kick the leg back and up. That's it, Mark. Now, Mark, lift up your left armpit, lift up your left armpit a little bit higher. Lift up your left arm, Mark. Yeah. And now keep on kicking with the leg. Lovely, lovely, lovely distance with Shahida from your shoulder to the knee. And you kick back a little bit more, lovely, Mark. Now, all of you begin to bring the left shoulder towards your chin. As you touch in the shoulder, reach forward that, that left arm a little bit more. And now you're going to kick the leg back behind you a little bit more for five and kick it for four and three, two, done. You must be thrilled with that, Mark, it's beautiful. Take a breath, take a breath. Left elbow, in at the waist, palm facing up, let your hand go down, guys. Pick up the foot from the inside, touch your knees. And then please inhale with energy, right arm up. Remember you want your right arm, right behind your head, right by your ear or behind it better. Arm back a little bit more, Mark. Inhale breathing, kick the leg back, keep the lift in your upper body. Kick the, this is beautiful lift, Leslie. This is an absolutely stunning lift, Leslie. And as you kick the leg back even more, the lift and the opening in your armpits and you bring the body, excellent. And your body's so lifted, Leslie. Leslie's not even brought her body down, guys. Now there's Katia. As you kick up the leg, kick, and now there's Christine. Now there's Shaida. Kick the leg back a little bit more. That's where you want to be. Yes, Lily. Yes, Ma. Same for you. And you kick the leg back a little bit more. And now just begin to bring that right shoulder towards your chin. As you touch it in the shoulder, fabulous. Um, Amber, now kick the leg back a little bit more for five. You keep on kicking it before. Keep on kicking it. Three, two, done. Take a breath. It was exceptionally beautiful, Leslie, especially your face. Breathe. When you are in harmony, you know, with your posture and you're at the blueprint, it shows in your face. There's a peacefulness and a beauty to it. When you're ready, come to the back of your mats. If you saw your, your own face, you'd want to kiss it. Inhale your arms over your head. And you can see the way I'm saying it. I mean it. Interlock your fingers, release your index finger, glue you together. Take a great big step on your right foot. Point your left toe. Inhale, breathing. Tula Dandasana, bring your upper body down. There you go, Tara. Body down, arms up. Body down, leg up. As long as you point the toe, Tara, you're in the game. Perfect, babe. And then your leg is straight, lovely, Katia. Body down a little bit, arms up. Body down, stretch forward, stretch back. And change. Beautiful, everybody. Stunning, Jamelia. Take a great big step on your left foot. Point your right toe. Inhale, breathing. And then you bring your body down, chin up. Remember when your chin is up, you remember you said it before, if the chin is up, it's important. Why? Because we've always got the chin down, you know. Stretch forward. Point the toes behind you. Leg up a little bit more. Lily posture is beautiful. Keep on stretching forward. Stretch back. Done. Very good indeed, Amber. You've got a lot of um, bounce in the posture that you can go in. You know, the body's perfectly straight. You've got places you can go. Breathe. Second set. Inhale your arms over your head. Interlock your fingers. Release your index. Glue your together. Take a great big step. Right foot. Point your left toe. Inhale, breathing. Bring your body down, arms up. 
body down, leg up, reach with your fingertips to try to touch the front of your space, point the toe behind you to try to touch the back of the space, make sure the chin is away from the chest, now stretch forward with your elbow, stretch back with your knees, change, yes Wayne, breathe, take a great big step on your left foot, don't look down, in our breathing, bring your upper body down, fabulous Barbie, stunning Barbie, body down, arms up, that's it, Aileen. Contract the thigh muscle of your, of your left leg as you stretch forward. You point the toes behind you. Good for you, Tara. Body down, arms up, body down, leg up, down. That's excellent, Tara. And feet together, arms down. Take a breath. Let go and breathe. Okay, guys, we get our first re re rest. Vedandeya mana vipatapada pashimotanasana. So please come and stand on the left hand side of your mouth and inhale your arms up over your head. Then take a great big four and a half foot step to the right, arms down parallel immediately. Turn your toes in, heels out, arms back, chin up, suck in your tummies, and you go down. Lovely swan dive, Leslie, beautiful Barbie. Slide the hand on the back of your legs and grab your heels, gorgeous Wayne. Do you know guys, the postures are so good the way you're accessing them, your form is so beautiful that honestly, I could just sit here and say, well, that was gorgeous, that was gorgeous, that's beautiful, how amazing. Beautiful postures. Lily and Mark, absolutely exquisite right now. Get the weight in the toes, lovely Mark. Now, Mark, as you get the weight into the toes, lift your hips up into the air a little bit, Mark, that's it. Now exhale, I just push the knees back, an eighth of an inch, a tiny smidgen. Excellent, Mark. Now, lift your hips up into the air again, Mark. Make the space. And then push the knee back just a tiny smidgen. Keep the bend in the elbows, Mark. One more breath. And you've done it. Excellent. And Mark, that ended up being an inch straighter with your knee. Feet together, arms down. Take a breath. Let go and breathe. Remember, you age by little tiny, tiny pieces. So small and slow you don't notice them. Our postures eek them out when you're ready inhale your arms over your head great big four and a half foot step to right arms down parallel immediately turn your toes in heels out arms back chin up suck in your tummy please swan dive down it's still um tricking up it's still down there man Barbie. down there man be back to party yeah start your hand on the back of your legs and it's a very good measurement for where your body should be even wrap it further around um, Shahida because you can, the fingers. Get them further around so even your baby fingers will start to show on the inside of your foot. And remember, Mark, fingers underneath your feet. Excellent. Very, very good, Amber. Now, Paul, for you, Amber, keep your legs like that and get your armpit closer to your knees. Lift your hips up into the air. Exhale and push the knees back into the space. Inhale, lift your hips up into the air. Your body's so close to your thighs, Mark. Lift your hips up into the air. And now, Ma, push the knees back into the space. Yes, step, Ma. Ma, one more push back. Done. Gorgeous, babe. Inhale as you come up. And feet together, arms down. Take a breath, let go, and breathe. Have a drink of your water if you would like it. And, you know, we were talking, um, Aileen, yesterday, just to like you to know, those legs look like a 30-year-old legs. Very beautiful, your legs. Yeah, baby, they look fabulous. Okay, guys, when you're ready, let's do trick and ask the triangle pose, the master. Inhale your arms above your head. Take a great big four and a half a step to right. Arms down parallel immediately. Push your hips forward, arms back. Turn to the right heel. Turn to a half inch more. Back foot in a 45 triangle. Very, very good, Mark. Sucking your tummy. Sit down, sit down. Into your right knee. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Lovely Aileen, sucking your tummy, just move your arms. Don't open your legs any wider now, Aileen. You, you've got the measurements. And you know, you, Tari, you can put your hand on the knee, whatever you want to put on the knee to support your back. Look up toward your left hand. Straighten out your left leg. Now, Barbie, what I want you to do, actually, I'm not going to ask you to do anything, Barbie, because you're dealing with that foot. Get your chin tucked in the shoulder. Very good, Jamelia. Keep sitting down. Pop your elbow on your knee, Jamelia. Pop your elbow on your knee. A little bit more for you, Aileen. Pop your elbow on your knee. Why? Because your body's too low. See how it lifted your body up a little bit? That's where your body needs to be. And you're building strength by holding it here. 
Push the left knee back, the help of the elbow. Right knee back, the help of the elbow. Straighten out your left leg. Round your left baby toes into the floor. Reach up, reach down. That's it. You're done. Hips forward. Arms back. Turn on the left heel. Turn to a half inch more. Back foot turns in. Inhale, breathing. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Suck in your tummy. Swizzle your arms like a windmill. Windmill your arms. Elbow gets in front of you, you stop there. Or pop your elbow onto the knee. And now, Aileen, you've actually got a perfect triangle. When we are doing um, the, the posture clinic for this year, I will show you where the triangle is. It's in a completely different place where, than when you think it is. Your chin is tucked in the shoulder. That's it, Ma. You're already knowing to get your arms back a little bit. But elbows up and um, um, bend your knee a little bit more if you can, my mark. Now reach up, reach down and change. Feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go, breathe. Drain. And remember, this is not only a blueprint for the way your body looks. This is a blueprint for how your liver is, for how your lungs are, for how your spleen is, for how your pancreas is, for how your testicles are, for how the ovaries are. This is a spleen and um, postures, a blueprint for everything in your bodies. Inhale, your arms above your head. Take a great big four and a half and step to the right, arms down parallel immediately. Push your hips forward, open up the hips, arms back, set your hips, set your arms back. Turn the right heel, turn the door, half inch more. Turn the back foot in a 45 degree angle, inhale breathing, sit down, sit down, sit down. And suck in your tummy, and boom, you move your arms. When your elbow gets in front of you, you stop there, beautiful Barbie, and push your knee back with the help of the elbow. And you breathe, and you look up towards your left hand. And because... um. My Tara, you've been doing this for so many years now. I mean, we're probably with Tara looking at 25 years. She's probably been doing it as long as Brian. And she said, oh, maybe even more. Stretch your arms in opposite direction, like a natural human tug of war. And that's why your body has not aged at all, Tara. As you stretch your arms, you reach up, reach down, change. Sure, you might get injuries, but the ratio of your waist, where your legs are, Tara, where your neck is, where your arms are, everything's blueprint. Hips fall down back. Turn the left heel, turn the jaw half inch more, back foot turns in, inhale, breathing, sit down, sit down, sit down. And suck in your tummy and just move your arms. When your elbow gets in front of you, you stop there, pushing your back with the help of the elbow. Some people, it was their karma to, to find this yoga when they were young. Other people, it was their karma to find it late. Which karma's better? Nothing's better than anybody else. We all have different exams because we are all learning different lessons in our life we all have a different karma now sit down a little bit deeper only if it's available to you Wayne everybody pull your tummy muscles in the posture looks lovely chin is touching your shoulder lovely Barbie stretch your arms in opposite directions reach up reach down nailed it fabulous Shahida feet together arms down take a breath let go gorgeous exit Barbie from the posture you know and you breathe the fact that this is a real class, you know, because they are all age groups. I'm talking about when you go in a class and you see somebody you hear in our class that they're over in their 60s, you know the class is real. Inhale your arms over your head. If you go to nine out of ten classes of the 60 odd year olds dancing in there, no. Take a three-foot step to the right, lift your toes and spin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Chin down, suck in your tummy and round over and get your forehead on your knee. Eyes are open, breath is normal, suck your tummy round your spine. Try to get your feet closer, Shahida. They seem far apart to me. And um, bring them, I, I need them to be three feet apart, which is half of your mat. At headquarters, we used to have a, um, you know those three foot measures, a yard, a yard stick? And that yard stick would be brought around to measure that you're doing three, three, inch, three feet apart, rather than a big lunge. Inhale, breathing, round up. Because the three feet apart, what they do is they really, really work on your spine rather than it going into your legs. Lift your toes, spin to the screen. Lift your toes, spin again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Chin down, suck in your tummy, round over. Get your third eye on your knee as you round over. Eyes are open, breath is normal. Lovely Tara. You're doing fantastically. And look, Tara, you understand how. I know you've got a back injury. You know we're talking about a disc that degenerated a little bit something. 
but your forehead is on your knee. You are in the perfect Fibonacci. Both of your legs are straight and your hands are in front of your toes. And that's what I'm finding. This is because of how many years you've been doing that. Even though you're injury, you work past the injury and then you nail the perfect posture. Inhale breathing and curve out of it. And that's it, Tara. You're going to put your hands on your knees to help your back and come out of it. And feet together, arms down, take a breath, let go and breathe. So if you have an injury, you'll find you access the posture maybe slightly different but the posture is still there. You saw that, Tara. It's still there. You know, your arms above your head. Hands in prayer, cross your thumbs, take a three-foot step to the right and lift your toes. Spin one, two, three, four, five, six, chin down, suck your tummy round over and get your chin in and roll over. So what this means now, now guys, anybody who's got children, understand this. Your life, you never want to live your life one second more than your children. So you're not, you know, you're not thinking of a long, 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 long life. You don't know what your life end is. You never want one second after your children. But will you know that wherever you end up in your life, however old you will be, you will get you forward in your bloody knee. You feel that you will still be able to do the Fibonacci. Even if you're 90, you'll be able to do the Fibonacci. Why? Because you've also done the Fibonacci in your breathing round up. And your habits become your life. So if you've habitually done the Fibonacci two or three times a week, lift your toes, spin to the screen, or every week regularly, sucking your tummy, inhale, breathing, round over, and get you forward on your knee. When you age, you're going to get you forward on your knee. It's common sense. But our postures allow your body, because ours are healing. In the other postures, I don't see deep Ashtanga, Iyengar, those people living very old. Even Iyengar, he died with a very, very big belly, you know, being asked, he could hardly talk, you know. So it's like, you know, this is a different thing. Inhale breathing and then round up. This is a blueprint. This is ancient. And it's not disrespectful to Iyengar because all yoga is good. All fitness is good. But this is miraculous. You understand? Let your arms sit down, take a breath, Christine, and breathe. Face forward, straighten out your left leg. Talent is, be able, is be a, being able to hit some, something that nobody else can hit. That's talent. Pick up the foot, guys. Hold the foot at the top of your thigh. Genius is when you're hitting a target that nobody else can see. This is what our yoga is. It's genius. When you're in our yoga, you are hitting targets in your body that the fitness world doesn't even see. Even people who've never practiced from the lineage, they don't know. It's the wrong leg, Christine. They don't know. They don't know those little things that you miss. And change. Straighten out your, your right leg and pick up the left. And hold the foot and straighten the leg. You're standing on chair. You see how it's bent already? You see how what your, your right knee does automatically, she goes into bend. She should never be bent at any stage in this posture. That's it. You nail her. You talk to her. Give her so much love. And it's something to do with an injury you have had. Could have been in the ankle. It could be in the hip. And that's why the knee was buckling slightly to protect it. Hold. Because your postures are perfect. And change. Now straighten out your left leg again, pick up your right foot, foot can slip in your thigh. Bend over and get your hands out ready to catch yourself. Emmy could do this at 87. Just so you know, just say 87, Emmy, bum in the posture, hands on the ground, that 87 year old leg propped up there. And then you work for your balance. And this is brilliant for your anal sphincter. Because if you want one muscle in your body to be kept tight, it's this one. Lift up your left hand just to see what happens. You can keep the right hand down. Lovely shader. Lovely lily. And the right. Oh, the yes, and they. And change. I'm delighted for you, Leslie. I'm delighted. Whenever you heal something and suddenly you can access a full posture again, always notice. Whenever something's got better, always notice. Straighten out, your, straighten out the right leg. Pick up the left. Let the foot slip in your thigh. 
Let's, um, for some reason, Christine, you're going into it in the wrong level. We are now picking, we're now on the right leg picking up the left. And you're on your and you're on the left picking up your uh, right. Yeah, get yeah, you may as well get it right. And bend over, get your hands out there to catch yourself on the ground. And you breathe. There's no other posture in the world that I know that will access your anal sphincter. Why am I focused on it? Because in England, I was blissfully unaware of those products they have here called Depend for old people. In England, they hide them. They fool us. They hide them. When I asked what they were for and I found out, ouch, you sit on your heel. And change, come up, easy. Because it activates your anal sphincter, keeping it nice and tight, guys. You did a rocking class. Turn around, lay down. You let go. And you breathe. Good for you, Leslie. That's a brilliant thing, you know. It's brilliant. And it just shows you, Leslie, how much healing can be achieved with anything in our, as we grow. And you lay down. And you melt into the ground. And you breathe. And you let go. Right now, I want you to take a few pictures of the room, the space you are in, and you all know exactly why you're doing it. Take pictures of the space that you are in. Maybe Tara doesn't, but we'll do it for Tara in a minute. Now I want you to catalog the pictures of the space, of everything in your space, little pictures of what you've seen. And now look at the photographs in your mind because they're little memories of what you've seen. And if you've never done this before, what you're going to notice in, in those pictures, you do not have one of yourself. And actually the most vibrant person in that space is you. The one thing that is real and the one thing that is alive in that space is you. And yet we have zero memory of it. We will take pictures of every single thing time and time again, unless we're told, hang on, where's the picture of you? Were you in the space? Yes. The space existed because you were in the space, because you are creating this life. Now, when I say you are creating it, you are creating it when you begin to understand that you cannot believe or allow your thoughts to think for you. Your thoughts come from the outside. They are not yours. They're, excuse me, they're yours, but they're not you. Now, if you begin, if you get a little moment where you begin to watch yourself, become aware of yourself, you know you are in the moment as well. You get a little insight because when you're just watching yourself, well, you begin to notice how you take, you notice your thought pattern, you notice what the words are saying to you. Every time you have a thought, it creates a feeling. Your thoughts and your feelings together create your mood and your words. The mood you're in, Create your words or how you're saying them. And these words, they become your life, your existence. So you cannot let your existence flow from a part of you, which is yours, but it is not you. You brought yourself to yoga today. You created this class for you on a quantum level, which is why you are doing class. The outside thought pattern will never give you anything to do that will improve you. So whenever you are improving yourself, understand that that sprung from your inner world, from the real you. The outside world is not interested in improving you. Why would the, the matrix improve you so you can wake up and escape the matrix? It's not the matrix's job to improve you. It's the matrix's job to lull you into sleep, 
to lose you in thought, to make you be in a condition where you can lie there, look at pictures of the room and have no idea that you're in it. That you can walk about in your normal life with no definite idea that you are in it. That's the matrix job. Every one of you defeated that by getting in class today. You are already affecting yourself on a quantum level. You are gods, you are goddesses, and you are creating your life. Don't let your thought pattern create your life. Have a look at it. Watch yourself. Please pick up your right leg. Be curious as you pick up your right leg. Observe yourself doing it. Interlock your fingers on your thumb and grab the leg on top of and below the knee. Now get a sense of your body. Is your left shoulder down? Is your left hip down? Is your left calf muscle down? Yours is flat, Mark. It's beautiful. Hold it there as you massage and stimulate. You're sending colon right over it. If you have one, change. And now you go for the other leg. Interlock your fingers under your thumb, pull the knee away from the ribcage again and in towards your armpit. Get the back of your neck long, chin down, pull and hold and breathe. You remember yourself, you are aware of your real physical body for milliseconds and it goes back to sleep. So Paul, right now, observe your body, observe. Loving yourself also brings you in the moment. Hold it and change. And you never, you know when you fall asleep, you don't know when you fall asleep. It's the same as this. Pick up both of your legs and swing your arms around them. So you observe yourself and you instantly fall asleep and you don't notice that transition between the observation and the falling asleep. The same way you don't observe the transition, but when you get in bed, you awake one minute and then you sleep the next. Hold it and change. We're trying to interrupt that. So you don't fall asleep so quickly. You've noticed you're falling asleep. Breathe. Second set. Pick up your right leg and interlock your fingers under your thumb and pull the knee away from the ribcage in towards your armpit. Now don't roll to the, to the um, right. Don't roll to the right. Make sure both your shoulders are equal on, like both hips in one line. You know, both knees in one line, both shoulders in one line as well. Your calf muscles still on the floor. Hold it. Change. Other side. And the more you do it, the deeper you go. Because this is a great big junction. You know, your ball and socket joint of your hip. The ball that goes into that hip is huge and the socket's huge. And it's got all kinds of muscles around it. This is why we do hips forward and arms back to stretch this part of your body. Change. Now you pick up both of your legs, swing your arms around them, grab your elbows. And get the back of your neck super long, chin down. I want the back of your neck, middle of your spine, tailbone, all on the ground. Keep pulling, chin down, hold, change. Lovely Barbie, let go. Okay guys, we're going to a sit up. If anybody's dealing with rib issues, hip issues, roll to the side, back issues, arms over your head, flex your toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, spin around. Please lay on your tummies. Hands, palms underneath your shoulders. Tips of the fingers level with the top of your shoulders. Zip your legs up. Tag your bumps so hard you can bounce a brick off it. Inhale, breathe in, peel your upper body up and look up. Come up to your navel, remember it's a measurement. So come up a little bit more, Mark. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Slowly your, your navel and below the belly is on the ground, yeah. Shoulders away from the ears. Now roll your eyes up, everybody. Mark's beautiful eyes rolled up. Look up one more breath, then come down. Please put your left ear on the ground, look to the right. Try to get the whole of your left ear down so you're not in your left cheekbone. And then breathe into that. Allow the fascia, the connective tissue in your neck to stretch. Chin forward, stretch the front of your neck. Hands, palms down the ground, zip your legs up. Push your feet down hard. Inhale, breathing, peel your upper body up. Yeah, Shahid and lift up, gorgeous Katia. That's it, Christine, dropping the shoulders away from your ears. 
beautiful Jamila, Jamila, as you look up, lovely Wayne, one more lift, and then come down. That is an exceptional movement of your body weight. It's almost like unlocking one part of your body weight is unlocked several parts at once. And I think when those um, tightenings came, they all came at once. Did you know if we get stressed, parts of our body tighten? Chin forward. Turn your hands palm down the ground. Get your elbows underneath your body. Baby fingers touching side by side. Forget about your left leg length, not your right leg. Inhale and go. Lift your right leg up. Point your toe. Turn the right hip down into your forearm. Hold the leg long. That's it. Chin forward, Christine. Keep lengthening it. Never strain it, but just lengthen it. Hold it. Change. Forget that leg. Lengthen the left. Inhale and go and lift it up. Make your body long. Make the neck long. Elbows into the ground. Fingertips into the ground. Hold it. Change. Face down. Kiss a towel. Walk your fingertips down towards your knees. Spread your fingers. Grip the towel. Zip your legs up. Inhale, breathe in and go. Lift both legs up on the floor into the air. Yes, Amber. Push your face in the ground, just Christine. As you lift your legs up with Katia and just you tighten your bum. You, yeah, excellent, Tara. And then come down. Very good, Jamelia. Let go. Very, very good, Tara. And breathe. So you don't need the height in your legs, but the strength in the legs and the straight in your legs um, straight, tightens your, um, exercises your back, Tara, without any pressure on it and breathe. It works your back without pressure. And breathe. Okay, chin forward. Elbows underneath your body again. Baby fingers side by side. Forget your left leg, lengthen your right leg, inhale and go. Please lift it up. Lovely Barbie. 45 degree angle. 45 is half of 90. 90 is half of 180. 180 is half of a full circle. Hold it. Please change. Forget that leg length on the left. Inhale and go and lift it up. Put the toe. Turn the left hip down to four. And remember, it's only a 45 degree angle. It's no more. Hold it. Change. Face down. Walk your fingers down towards your knees. Spread your fingers. Grip the towel. Zip your legs up. Now inhale, breathing. And if both legs up, push the weight into your shoulders, Tara. All the way into your shoulders, beautiful, but darling, it's gorgeous. Toes and heels together, lovely. Um, Aileen, as you lift your legs up, push your elbows into the ground. Fabulous, Ma, fabulous, Lily. Lift up one more breath, calm down. Ma and Lily, that was very, very high. The whole of the lower part of your body is off the ground, along with Amber. Breathe. Breathe. Okay, chin forward. Arms out to the side, toes and heels together. Zip your legs up. You're going to let your legs come up first if you can. Inhale, breathing. Everything on the floor to the air, fabulous Barbie. Gorgeous Katia. Lift up, look up. Everybody's absolutely exquisite, guys. Gorgeous Mark. As you look up, lift up. Every single one of you has got a fabulous posture. One more lift, come down. Good for you, Tara. Huge improvements, babe. Even your arms are coming down, Tara, and you're turning your head and putting it down. You're not even having to put your hands down to protect your back. It's all her work over time that is coming into play. When you're editing, forward arms up to the side, toes and heels together. Inhale, breathing. And go and lift everything on the floor into the air. Arms up low the top of your head. Absolutely fabulous. Very, very beautiful. Keep on lifting your arms up more. Mark, it's gorgeous. And you look up. Yes, my Barbie. Lift up. Go. It's very, very beautiful. Amber, one more lift and come down. Wayne, I cannot believe how high your legs are and how high your arms are as you let go and you breathe. And you know, guys, the ones who are doing teacher training, sometimes you're going to come to a Sunday class and watch it. And I will point Wayne out so you can see his postures, you know and breathe. Because she, Wayne has is, is got a normal life, a normal everything, but somehow in the middle of it, he's a yogi, you know? Chin forward, bend your legs behind you. He's in real estate. 
and grab your feet below the toes and get your knees to touch. Inhale, breathing and kick your legs directly behind you. There you go, Mark. You've got it. Go good, Lily. Very, very good, Lily. And your knees up, gorgeous, Shahida. That's it, Christine. Lift up. Keep on kicking. Good, Aileen. Kick, kick, kick the knees up. Yes, Barbie. One more kick with the knees up. Come down. you got very, very high knees then, Lily. You get your knees as high as you can before you lift your head up. Then, when you lift your head up and go into it, your upper body, your knees go higher. It's a technique. Your knees go higher. You're just doing you, Tara. Chin forward. Bend your legs behind you. Reach around and grab your feet. I find this healing, quite healing for my back. Start with your knees to touch. Inhale, breathe in, and get your knees off the floor first. Get the knees up, knees up, without lifting your head, without lifting your head. Get your knees up, knees up, knees up, knees up. Yeah, now lift your head up into it. Yes, Mark. Yes, Mark. And you keep on kicking up fabulous, Leslie. Kick up fabulous, sailing. Kick your arms up to your stunning Tara. As you look up, kick up one more. Kick, calm down. That posture was stunning Tara. And breathe. And breathe. Did we do two or one? I'm going to go into a second set. If you don't do second set, I know I did. Well, okay, push yourselves up. Let's do soup to address and a fixed firm posture. Thank you guys, the healer of your knees. Tara, that was very, very good. Bit by bit, bit by bit. You can see all the postures are there when you access them. You put your hand on the top of your feet and you go back easy. Your knees are so healthy, Christine that you can even lean over on your knees, grab something, have a drink. You see what I mean, Christine? Your knees are like elastic band. Go easy and breathe. Hold your elbows over the top of your head, you breathe. You know, the bodies age differently and women usually um, live longer than men in their natural condition. And also, you know, if you're petite in your body shape, Petite people usually live longer than me, long, longer than very tall people if the tall person's not doing yoga. It's identical if the persons are doing yoga. Breathe. And then come up easy. Put your hands on the top of your feet. And then you go easy. There's not as much pressure if the body is petite on the knees. It's not carrying as much weight and the heart is not under such strain as actually pumping blood around a body that's maybe six foot eight. But if the six foot eight does the postures, his body will react, because it's specifically, I'm thinking about Jed, his body will react like a petite person. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. I love Vinny Tara. Inhale, breathing, sit up, exhale, exhale, and spin around. And Vinny adores my Tara. So second set, open your toes, open your feet, Get your butt on the ground in between. And then you go back easy. And you breathe. Don't move the camera, Jamelia. Don't move the camera, darling. Not in the middle of class. And then you go back easy. And if your chest up. And you breathe. Eyes are open. The breath is normal. And you breathe. Just do your posture, Jamelia. I know what they look like. Just do your postures, baby. Breathe. Hold your elbows over the top of your head. You breathe. Eyes are open, breath is normal, lifting your chest up. Breathe. Okay, come up, put your hands on the top of your feet and then turn around and lay down. I'll look away, Jimmy, while you move your camera. Do it, do it when you're ready. And you lay down 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And you let go. Breathe. Arms over your head, flex your toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, feet spin around, come to the back of your mat, sit on your knees and sit on your heels. They both touch. The heels are the hardest thing to keep touching. Inhale your arms above your head, hands in prayer, use your bum to do it, suck in your tummy, come down the straight spine. When you're sitting on your knees and heels, you're sitting on your heels, it actually lines up your big toe. So it gives strength in the big toe as you lengthen forward. Now get the tip of the nose to barely graze the towel away. Chin away the chest a little bit. Reach forward with your upper body. One day, your nose will just 
touch the towel. Lengthen forward, squeeze your knees together, pull your tummy muscles in, inhale and come up with the straightest back you can. Yeah. Turn around, lay down, let go, breathe. Arms over your head, toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale again, turn around. Second set. Remember the knees touch. And the one that you probably won't do is to get your heels to touch because they naturally flop apart. So get your heels to touch and use your bum to hold the heels to touch. And it's going to work your big toe. Uh, inhale your arms up, come down the straight back. Try to get your arms behind your ear so your forehead touches the ground a second before your arms, like Leslie's did. Yeah, Ma. Oh, yes, Lily. Please reach forward. Chin away to the chest, that measurement. And now the weight is in the upper body and as much as you're stretching your arms forward, but your bottom's pulling back, it's resting over your heels. Your bum is like, you know, just relaxed over your heels. In an ideal world, chin away to the chest, lengthen forward, inhale breathing and come up the straightest back that you can muster and turn around. Please lay down, please let go, breathe. One thou, two thou, three thou, you down. Flat line. Hey, peanut, let go, breathe. Master posture. Arms over your head, my beloved. Stretch your toes back hard. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Spin around and come and stand on your knees at the front of your towel. Open your knees six inches, heels six inches. Put your hands on the top of your bottom, your lower back. Hips, tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up and drop your head back. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up and roll forward a little bit more. Now remember with camel, camel has its own length of time in your body, meaning if you've had enough, you can come out of it. But if you're still going, this is terrific. Tighten your bum, push your tummy, thighs forward. Yes, Aileen, that's where it is. Lift your chest up. Your, your and muscles, Aileen, are actually opening your body. As you, and remember, they were closing it before. Now roll forward, roll forward. Lift your chest up, roll forward. Now very gently put your hands back to your hips. And very gently turn around. Lay down. Let go. And relax. So when you've got very strong muscles, they tighten your body. But when you're in these postures, if your muscles are very strong, once you attain the postures, they are actually, you're using them to open your body. So there's a paradox again, the very things that tighten also open because everything is in the same moment. It's just the way we're looking at it, which is linear, which is hard to understand in itself. Breathe. Second set. Arms over your head, please stretch your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Please exhale, exhale. Second set is always bigger, you know, it's always bigger, deeper, longer. You can always do better on the second one of camel. Open your knees six inches. No, open your knees as wide as you want to. Heels six inches. Hips, tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up and drop your head back. So my trainees, did you hear me say, Open your knees six inches, and then you heard me say, no, open them wider. I didn't say, oh, sorry, if you understand. You don't have to be apologetic if you didn't do it right. It's okay. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up. I acknowledged and remembered it was wrong. And then I went on with no apology. Hips and tummy, thighs forward. Lift your chest up. As you roll forward, roll forward, roll forward. 
hips and tummy, thighs forward, you keep on the feet, chest up, you're opening your arms, but you're opening the chakras in your body, you're opening your throat, you're opening your hip flexor, you're compressing the back of your spine, you're opening all the organs on the front part of your body, hips, tummy, thighs forward, now very gently put your hands back to your hips, and gently. Good for you, Katty. I was going to call it, again, Katty, because you're above it, beautiful Katty. Tara, good for you with your back. Fabulous, babe. That was a beautiful camel. Let go and breathe. So you can see, um, Tara, you're now, you know, building yourself back up again with vinegar and brown paper, if you know what I mean. It means from you, from the bare basics. You breathe, you're fixing yourself again. Okay, guys, we're on the way home. Arms over your head and toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. And come to the back of your mat and sit on your knees and sit on your heels. Your knees, they touch. Your heels, they touch. Reach around, grab your heels from behind. All your fingers over your heels, thumbs on the outside. Chin down into your throat, sucking your tummy. Please roll over. Shuffle your knees forward towards your forehead if there is a space. Eyes are open, breath is normal. Lift your hips up, beautiful Barbie. Into the air, arms are straight, Barbie. And you're very long legged, very long armed, Barbie. As you roll forward, as you roll one more breath, change. Excellent way. Lie down, let go, and breathe. Melt into the ground. Breathe. Ah. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale, and spin around and come to the back of your mat and sit in knees and heels. I was saying ah uh, because. Um, Tara's partner just came and just stood by and just blew her a kiss, you know, says everything about Tara. Grab your heels from behind, chin down into your throat, suck in your tummy and begin to roll over. Yeah, it says everything about Tara and you, sir. As you roll forward, roll forward, lift your hips up into the air. And I think, you know, to be blown a kiss, to be sent love when you're in posture, understand what it's saying about you. Roll forward, roll forward, lift your hips up, shuffle your knees forward towards your forehead. And remember, whenever you meet a stranger, you never know if you've met an angel because the angels talk to you through people that you meet, even your partner, they talk to you. Roll one more breath and change. Turn around, lay down, let go and breathe. And remember those of you I talked about Lupe, how we sat with that dear cat that was dying. Lupe was representing an angel that day for me. Definitely she had angel energy. As you breathe, as you breathe. Sometimes the angels use your mouth and your ears. Arms over your head, flex your toes back. Inhale, sit up. Exhale, exhale. Spin around. Right leg out, left leg in. Inhale up and turn. Place your outstretched leg round over and get a grip of your foot and pull your toes back towards your face. When I began to teach um, this yoga, especially after I'd been thrown out of the big one world, I would ask my higher self to use my mouth to speak. I would ask the angels to use my ears so I could hear what angels hear, and I could speak the words, pull your toes back, dig your elbows into the ground, if heel up at the end, change. Left leg out, right leg in. Inhale up, turn, face the outstretched leg, round over, get a grip of the foot, and pull your toes towards your face. Get your forward in your knee. Your eyes are open, the breath is normal. You are used as a conduit, you are used as a channel many, many times. As you dig your elbows into the ground, pull your toes back, lift heels over the floor at the end. Change. 
Feet together, lay down, inhale, breathing, please sit up. Exhale, exhale. Can you grab your big toe with your first and second finger? And I want you to do the walk back business on your bum. Walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back, walk back. Drop your shoulders away from this fabulous posture, Shahida. Pull forward. Now get your tummy onto your thighs. Yes, baby. Chest onto your knees. Yes, baby. And then get your forehead on the shins below the knees, which Shahida has got. That's it, Lily. Keep pulling lower, Lily. Keep pulling lower. Open your elbows. Pull lower, elbows lower with your ma. And mark. And down. Excellent, Tara, turn around, lay down, let go and breathe. You know, if you have the environment you're in, you have somebody come up to you and they, they give you love in your environment, it shows your environment is nourishing you. It shows you have created, because remember you create everything. You create the uh, environment. You also create the karmas there as well. Arms over your head, flex toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale and spin around. And your calm is where you promise what life you're going to do to help yourself. Kick your right leg out and left leg in. Karmas are the tough lives. Inhale up and turn, face your outstretched leg. Round over, get a grip of your foot. Hug your toes towards your face as you kick the heel away. Dig your elbows into the ground if the leg is straight and then lift your heel up off the floor. At the end, change. Lovely, Amber. Left leg out, right leg in, inhale up, turn, face it, go after it. And suck in your tummy and hinge forward. Exquisite, Leslie. You get your forehead on your knee. Bend your knee if you need to. If your leg is straight, pull the toes back, stretch the Achilles tendon. And if your leg is straight, lift heel up off the floor at the end with Christine, change. Feet together, lay down instantly. The minute your shoulders hit the ground, boom, you sit up, exhale, exhale. Okay. Grab your big toe with your first and second finger and do the walk back on your bum. Walk back, walk back, walk back. Even get your bum, your hands to put your butt behind you. Grab your toe, suck in your tummy, hinge forward. Lovely, Chris, Christine. Exceptionally good. Now, Christine, see if you can lay your belly on your thighs with Katia. See if you can lay your, belt, your chest on the knees with Mark. See if you can get your forehead, keep lengthening on the shins below the knees with Katia. And Christine. Now Christine, the peels up at the end. Excellent, babe. Change. Turn around, lay down, let go and breathe. What Big Crumb used to call that is a Japanese ham sandwich. As you lay down, you let go and breathe. And what that was meant is it seems that Japan, you have a very, very skinny piece of ham in between two pieces of bread, unlike the American sandwiches. Because you can't even open your mouth wide enough to get in, which I think is quite adorable. Arms over your head, flex your toes back, inhale, sit up, exhale, exhale, and spin around. Do you know that's my overriding feeling about, you know, being an American, living with Americans are quite adorable. Left leg out. Oh, bend your left leg underneath you. Do not sit on your left heel. Pick up your right foot and cross it over the corner, left knee joint. Lift up your right arm over the knee. Push the knee out of the way, grab the low knee, lengthen your spine and begin to twist. And you breathe. I brought my children over here. They did not know America in the same way that I knew America. I'd lived here before. So I brought my children. Middle spine twist, upper spine twist. Then turn your chin. And you keep on twist, twist, one more twist, and change. Bend your right leg underneath you. Do not sit on your right heel. Pick up your left leg, cross it over the corner, right knee joint, lift up your right arm over the knee. Push the knee out of the way, grab the low knee, lengthen your spine. And then begin to twist. Middle spine twist, upper spine twist. When you move from another country and you come to America, there is a lightness of being with all the heavy stuff that goes on, but there is still a lightness of being in the personalities as you keep on twisting one last twist and change and turn around, lay down, let go and breathe. Remember, the news is only printing in the media things that induce fear in you. Fear and an agenda. That is the normal news because they're trying to herd you into place by the elites. The elites want you into place. Do you so why I post so much about the royal families? Because the royal family is elite. So I post the skullduggery they're up to. And as they crush, the elites are crushing. Arms up your head, flex toes back, inhale, sit up, 
exhale, exhale. And spin around and sit to your knees and heel. It is never the population of a country that is being insulted that is doing the bad things. You know that. It's never the population. Inhale, breathing. And let go for it. Snap your tummies in and blow. They want you to think it's different populations so they can get you to dislike other sets of being because they cannot control you if we are all in harmony with each other. So what they do is they set you up against another group or another ideology and they get you to dislike them. Force yourself to stop disliking anybody they tell you to. Three, two, done. Come and stop in the middle. That's the agenda, guys, to separate. Inhale, breathing. And let's go for it. Stop your tummy and blow, 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 blow. So what they do is they make fear against each other people. Oh, you get heard of that one because of this. Oh, now you're frightened of her because of that. Oh, you better really be frightened of them over there because of that. Don't buy it, guys. You are divine beings made of pure light. Five, four, three, two. Done. Did a fabulous job, guys. Turn around, lay down, and let go and breathe. You know that I am not buying their fear. And you know I'm a happy bunny. It's because I'm not buying their fear. I'm not interested in who they're telling me not to, to dislike. In fact, if they're telling me to dislike one set of people, I'm starting to look, well, why, why, why? What, what, what is it? Be your own teacher in a way you know you are a divine being. Research everything. Understand that you are working on yourselves. And that puts you mentally in a more advanced position than people who are not working on themselves at all. And remember, those in control, they're not working on themselves either. Love yourself. You are so vital for this planet Earth. Love yourself. Namaste, my beloveds. You did an incredible job. And Tara, it's lovely to see you healing. Namaste, my beloveds. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you.